this is Dr. Frederick, but just to, to look at these data again, um, how do we get the z-score? Well, the z-score is going to be equal to the mean, the mean minus, um, well, let's just say the score minus the mean, and all of that's going to be divided by the uh, standard deviation. Okay, that's that's what a z-score is. So we um, have computed our standard deviation here for our sample not estimating population. We know what our mean is here. Okay. So let's just put a... Um, oh, here's the mean up here as well. Um, here's our score minus the mean. What we really want to do now is uh, take our deviation score and divide it by the standard deviation. Okay, so that's equal to that score divided by the standard deviation. How did this happen? I wasn't paying attention. It would take that value and divide by the standard deviation. Now, we don't want this value to change, so we're just going to hit highlighter and then hit F4, put dollar signs in there. And that says every time you copy the formula, you keep that same value. Okay, so if we look, I don't know how to, let's see if I, I don't think I can make the, the formula bar bigger. No. I don't think so. I can make it bigger, but I can't make that bigger. All that says is take D5 and divide it by I14. That says the same thing, divide by I14, but it changes those other values, D9, D10, and so forth. So that, that's how you always make sure you're dividing by the right number. So there's our Z values, and then the next question was, well, what if one of the... Um, values is equal to the mean. Well, let's just take 6.17 there and then we'll just make this that value. Why is it not doing it? I don't know. Let's try it again. Oh, it's because it's a formula. Let's just... Okay. Well, the deviation is zero. So the z-score is zero. So whenever a score is equal to the mean, the z-score is going to be equal to zero. It's at the mean. The mean is a z-score of zero.